Louisiana has been given a new federal grant that will help improve more than a dozen railroad crossings right here in Baton Rouge. Jaron Jordan reports the improvements are meant to help save lives. It's a problem Troy Rhines has grown accustomed to. It's been the same way since I can remember. Rail crossings through his neighborhood, which he points out, could be a little safer. No guards, no anything, but the bells do work and they'll come on when the train is coming. Now, thanks to a $1.1 million grant from the Federal Railroad Administration, officials will focus in on 15 crossings along a six-mile route through North and Old South Baton Rouge. The crossing at Terrace Street is one of them. None of these crossings are ideal, and the fact that we can partner with this community to improve safety at these crossings, I think will just um, will just make a huge difference. Of the 15 crossings, the grant will help officials close six of the more smaller ones, like here on Smith Street, that don't see as much traffic. But the grant will also help officials make upgrades at nine other crossings along the route, like here on Terrace Street, just a few hundred feet away, and a crossing with more traffic. 11 accidents have happened along this corridor in the past 15 years. Through this grant, new emergency equipment will hopefully prevent any more. Gates that come down that keep vehicles from getting into the getting in front of a train, um, lights, signals that warn you that a train is coming, all of that is just incredibly important to safety. Anytime you have a crossing, you know, where the rail and the road meet there's always a potential for a collision. So if you eliminate that, then you know, you're eliminating that potential. It makes it much safer. Saving lives one crossing at a time. In Baton Rouge, I'm Jaron Jordan. WAFB 9 News. Thanks, Jaron. For a complete list of which crossings are closing and which ones will be upgraded, find this story on our website, wafb.com.